Inch High Comic Guy here with another Comicsgate unboxing, our first unboxing of 2021. And if this unboxing is any indication of how the year's gonna be, 2021 is going to make 2020 look like 1996. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. First off, it did not come in a Gemini mailer, it just came in an ordinary paper envelope. Worse yet, this thing not only came in an ordinary paper envelope, but they forgot to put do not bend on the front of the package. Consequently, when it got to the mailbox, guess what happened? That's right, it was bent. So we already have a damaged product that came in the mail by virtue of the fact that somebody didn't think things all the way through. So. Already the packaging on this particular book is at a one and the only thing it can do is go down from here Let's go ahead and open this thing up Got a new razor for the holidays There we go Let's see what this thing is. Oh It is calico It's actually did look like it was gonna be an interesting book. We got uh, a poster with it as well. Uh, toss that off to the side. All right, so here is our book. Here is our poster. And now I've got to go ahead and read and see if this is gonna be any good. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the camera and we'll see where things go from here after I get back. Talk to you in a minute. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was, wow. I, 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 I don't even know where to begin. Um, well, okay, I, I guess let's go down the list like usual. Uh, packaging, a one. There was, you know, again, it didn't come in a Gemini mailer. It did come bagged and boarded, uh, cheap bag and board, but you know, bagged and boarded. Um, the cover art, uh, I, I will say this, uh, the cover art looks really good. I mean, the cover art actually is the big thing that sold me on trying out this book. And so the cover art, it's just, you know, a glory pose, but the costume design is really nice. Uh, the physicality of the character, you know, is really cool. Um, even though it's just a glory pose, I mean, it's still something that in my book, you know, and, you know, here's the poster of it. Uh, I, I, just on the design alone, I, you know, I'd give it a four. I mean, it is a really good looking poster. And when you move over to the actual comic, uh, the comic, you know, we got a nice little logo here, nothing too fancy, but you know, we're introducing a new character. We know who our character is. We got an idea of design. Th there's a lot of positive things just about the cover. So like I said, I'm, I'm gonna give the cover a four, but that's, that's probably the highest thing we're going to get out of this because when you open up the book, things take a turn for the holy crap. Um, okay, well, let's talk about the quality of the book. It's done on newsprint. Uh, this is the equivalent as far as the physical quality of the book to something you would have gotten from Marvel or DC in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. The coloring, um, well, let, let's talk about the interior art first because the interior art is actually done by H.H. German. And H.H. German, who is, oh, excuse me, no, that, that's the writer and creator, uh, Javier Orbach. Orbitch? I'm going to say Orbach. Uh, the artist and letterer, Javier Orbach, he actually really did a good job on the artwork. I mean, the artwork is pretty good. They do a lot to go ahead and compact as much story into as small an area as possible. 
But yeah, um, I, I would actually give the artwork. Oh, I, I'm torn because the artwork actually is really good. Uh, the artwork, I would probably say, is a three, maybe even as high as a four. It's like right there on the cusp. So I'm going, to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a three and a half. It, it's like right there on the edge between being above what you would normally get as far as quality is concerned. And not quite a four, but... I think if he had had more room to actually draw this comic, because this is like a 22-page comic. This is like a normal floppy. If he had had a 48-page graphic novel to work with and didn't have to compress so much of his artwork onto the page, I mean, two, four, six, eight panels in some cases, uh, I, it probably would have gotten a four as far as the artwork is concerned. But yeah, we're going to go with that 3.5. Um, the coloring, uh, the coloring is good. Uh, the coloring is, uh, above average slightly. The real limiting factor on the coloring in this book is actually the newsprint that it was drawn upon. Quality of the paper will impact your ability, uh, to actually put color on the page. You're limited based on using newsprint. Uh, granted, this they did the best they could with newsprint, but if they had had a higher grade paper, uh, this actually would have looked a lot better. So the coloring, I'm gonna give it a three, mostly because of the materials being used, which brings us to the lettering. The lettering is, you know, pretty good. The lettering in this book is, I would say, commensurate with a professional book. Uh, so the lettering, that's gonna get a three. And I've rushed a little bit through the physicality of this book to get to the writing. Holy freaking crap! This, this book, wow. This book is mentally unbalanced. This book, the writing, it's, it's not that the writing's bad, per se, but this is actually disturbing. And it's not disturbing in the way that I think H.H. H. German wanted. This, this whole story of Calico, our hero here, uh, boxer, fighter, defending the weak, I mean, if we go here to his costume, uh, the costume looks really good. It's a really good design for the costume. But uh, they, they, there's just, wow, there are so many problems here. So many problems. Um, I don't think H.H. H. German understands what a hero is because this is a violent vigilante akin to the Dark Age, uh, where you had people like the Punisher and Lobo running around the Marvel and DC universes, but he's killing people for animals. And, I mean, th there's a way you could do that. You could have Calico be a hero, like a normal comic book hero, who beats up bad guys and has a thing for protecting animals. And as a consequence of that, he actually, you know, proactively takes measures to save animals from abusive situations. And then you can get a sense that, you know, he is a heroic character. He saves the animal, he takes it to the shelter, something like that. That is not what's happening here. This character, Calico, is going around the world, because apparently he has like millions of dollars, which I don't understand how, but he does. And Calico is straight up murdering people and not just murdering them a little bit. He's murdering them a lot. We're talking about things that would have made Rorschach blush. This is some of the most 
heinous violence that I have seen depicted in a comic book. And if, again, if you were doing this as a means of disturbing the reader because you wanted to sell them on the idea of protecting animals, that would be one thing. But Calico goes so far beyond that. I mean, our quote-unquote hero here actually engages in, I mean, where, where's, where's the scene? Calico went full sexual assault on a quote-unquote villain. Oh my god! I mean, this is not a hero. Calico is not a heroic character. Calico is a straight-up sociopath who is going out there murdering people. And by the time you are done with this book, you are not... You are not on his side. You are nowhere near the concept, the vaguest idea of the notion of being on this character's side. You you kind of hate this character by the time you get to the end of the book because what he's doing, th this isn't heroics. This, this isn't vigilantism. This is straight on 100% crazy town. And holy freaking crap. I, wow. I mean, I would tell you to read it to believe it, but I am not endorsing this book. I am not endorsing this book in any way. I mean, you could have done this the right way. You could have made Calico some vigilante superhero operating in some big city and that he fights crime. He has a thing for animals and... He gets caught up in some crazy, you know, thing going on where people are importing animals to kill them or something like that, where people are like importing lions and tigers and, you know, rare endangered species. And he can go in and he can see what kind of horror show these people are involved in and that compels him out of outrage to kill. That's not what happens here. This guy full on plans the, in this issue, sexual assault and murder of an entire family over them having gone on a safari in Africa, which in some places of Africa is actually legal. And he just straights up murders an entire family. He cuts the husband's arms off and sexually assaults him before he kills him and his wife after chopping off his daughter's head. I, I'm... Wow. So, yeah. This is the first review for uh, 2021. And the first review was a freaking horror show. Do not back this book. Do not support this book. This, this is a really good looking book. I mean, this guy here, what's his name again? Um, Javier Orbach. You know, I, I really hope that he and Daniel Grimaldi get additional work in the uh, comic book industry. But H.H. German, um, dude, your revenge fantasy porn on hurting people who hurt animals? Dude, you took this too far. So as I was saying before I bumped the camera, you crossed a line that... You can't uncross as a creator. This, it went beyond you creating a character who could have been compelling, interesting, who could have served as a vehicle to advocate your position. And instead, you turned it into something disturbing, disgusting, revolting, and frankly, diseased. This, this is not good writing. 
This this isn't even in good propaganda. This is this is the byproduct of a radical and I think in some cases people would say a diseased mind. That's how bad this came over. So um no I I I'm I I <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know what else to say, uh, except no. Do not support this book. Do not back this book. This book, this book, this book is everything about 2020 and what was wrong with it, all wrapped up into one cute little package. No. Final score on this book. Uh, 2.58, uh, two and a half stars. And a big reason why is because the writing got a one. And, it, I mean, it, it got a one. It was narratively constructed well. Uh, it could have been put together better. But, this, this is a project as written for crazy people on the internet that that that's that's my feelings this is this is the 2020 twitter verse reddit horror porn fan fiction of 2020 that came to my box in 2021 so no not doing it um again to, to the artist, uh, Javier Orbach, Daniel Grimaldi, and Garnabil cover, or Garnabil, I guess, is the person who did the cover artwork. Um, I wish you all the best in the work, but H.H. German, dude, get an editor to talk you out of making these mistakes in a published work and find a healthier way of coping with whatever anger you've got. Okay? Uh, a better way. A private, a private way of coping with the anger issues you have. Because, holy crap. This is Inch High Comic Guy, and I'm going to go take a shower. <laughs>